so we're going up a tier to the tier 8 LH MTV the MTV tank MTV tank well, what else am I supposed to call it and um, this is a step up but it's not a huge step up because the previous tank the setup was such a um, a big pile of doo doo that and I have some theories about this you know um, going a step up above the setter isn't saying much because yeah it was so weak such a weak tank and um, yeah so well, now we have the LHM TV and the, you know the pen is pretty decent 226 258 on the premium and um, 250 alpha which is a good step up you know because most like uh, it's like kind, kind of like medium tank damage but you still have the issues with the the reload you know the dpm you still have these issues and um, you can see me uh, rolling with two different set setups in the uh, in the videos up on screen of the battles and in one setup I, ha I had optics on both setups but then, then I had rammer and vents uh, vert stabs part of me which gave me a reload of 8.77 and uh, the reload is such an issue such a problem that I've dropped basically the vert stabs and I went with vet, vents and I also dropped my fire extinguisher which is a significantly big deal at the same time it kind of is and it isn't the only kind of issue there is that you're losing you know 20k silver in each and every battle and uh, because truth be told it's not an issue for me in these small tiny little tanks that I have a 20% chance of a fire because the camo is so good that you know you're I don't know you know my, my job is to be unseen in a line tank and my job is to be too quick too fast too nimble for people to shoot at me that's kind of my thinking my philosophy of course, of course people shoot me in this thing but I don't know if you have that mentality where you're kind of anticipating getting shot it's a kind of like um, it's sort of possibly maybe a step in the wrong direction but at the same time you know having said that you're losing 20k silver each, each and every game if you literally use food so so anyway with optics rammer and vents and food it drops down to 8.09 which again is it's it's terrible it's it's not good at all you know you're always waiting you're always waiting for your gun to reload you know and um you're always the thing about this tank is and just like in the in the setter I always want to keep my gun working I always want to keep firing and you know if I'm in anything else which has a decent reload and if I keep that gun firing and I'm penning continuously um, and what, what, what I mean by keeping that gun firing is every time I'm reloaded there's a target in front of me and I'm ready to shoot I'm already pre-aimed etc etc so when I do that for instance in a medium in a tier 10 medium in a I don't know any other light tank etc etc I don't even have to look at my damage counter I know I'm doing well and when I do the same in this tank I kind of look up at the counter and I see I've only done 1k damage 1.5k damage and it's kind of like but I've shot and penned every single shot you know and it's because of that reload the reload is just so slow it's just so slow it's just so slow but it is what it is you have to work with it etc etc um, other negatives as far as the tank is concerned is gun elevation color elevation sucks 15 degrees that's terrible so with the positives there are a quite a few positives you know there are quite a few positives um, the speed is on your side you know it turns it's very lackluster when it comes to turning but if you've kind of mastered using the handbrake then you'll kind of 
manage that. But speed is on your side. You're tiny. You're absolutely tiny. Uh, if you pull up alongside another tier 10 light tank, you'll you'll instantly see what I mean. You know, I pulled up next to a, a turtle tank, and it's just like it's just pal pals in comparison when it comes to size. Uh, it's just tiny, absolutely tiny, and that you notice those camo values really do jump up when you move from the setter to the LH and TV. Well, that's the way I felt it. Um, and of course, you're not going to take full advantage of the camo values if you don't have those camo skills. This crew that I have in this tank is uh, from the Death Star because the Death Star is currently on hiatus it's currently retired and I need to do something with the crew and why not put it you know in to good use into this line and um, the Death Star crew is my best British crew because the Death Star was the first tier 10 line uh, British tier 10 line that I uh, did etc etc so I have all the skills perks everything that is needed you know I changed and tweaked it to perfection so I have everything everything that I need and I do take full advantage of the fact that in many of the games I didn't play that many games in this thing but um, the camel values I did you know, the camel values are fantastic in this thing you know they really are 100% you know, um, but like I said you know the, the yeah you know, you know, there's a lot of talk about when the 360s dropped, we're going to see uh, the power of the bush come to console, what you have on the PC, basically, it's going to arrive um, on the on the console, whether that's, if that's going to happen, that's great, etc, etc, will it change the dynamics of the game, the meta of the game, I don't know, you know, because these tags are more favorable on PC in my personal opinion than I, I mentioned this in the setter review than they are here on console because the, the bush factor isn't as strong isn't as prevalent as it is um, on PC but still I used you know I camped bush in this thing as much as I could as hard as I could and um, absolutely 100% but like I said, you know, the bushes aren't as prevalent as they are on PC and therefore you need to, what I found was you you kind of, you do leave yourself vulnerable basically when you kind of go into these aggressive scouting positions and you attempt to spot for your team, you know you're not going to get lit up, but, but when you are lit up, it's a problem, it's an issue because you cannot defend yourself in this thing you cannot defend yourself and I've always in you know in any tank I've been usually pretty much I've been able to defend myself with this tank you can't really defend yourself you really need to outwit the players so to speak with fancy skills and maneuvers because that's all you have really on your side and hope that and pray that they make, make mistakes and you try and get the hell out of dodge and use your team to your advantage and uh, yeah you know when you load up in this tank um, well when I load up in any kind of light tank that I've mentioned this before I the first thing I look at is what light tanks are on the opposing team and uh, are they a threat to me how can i counter them how can i oh he's going to all over he's quick he's big you know da, 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 da. and how can i counter them how can i outplay them whenever i load into battle loaded into battle in the mtv tank it was pretty much every single light tank that was on the enemy list that uh, you know in each and every battle I was like, I hope I don't come across that tank, you know, I hope I don't come across the T-71, I hope I don't come across the, you know, this tank, that tank, the awful panther, I hope I don't come across anything, <laughs> any of the light tanks, because I cannot 
you know, outgunned them. I, I cannot beat them. I cannot, you know, I need my team. I need, yeah, so um, th that's a kind of like, it really is a first for me, you know, in World of Tanks. It really is a first for me. And, um, yeah, so it's kind of unusual to play a tank that is so weak, so defenseless when it does get lit up and um, caught out and yeah so yeah, alpha uh, uh, like I said it's okay reload is an issue accuracy and it's kind of like I, I don't know I don't know people talk about these tanks you know the British tank line uh, light tank line needs a buff needs love needs this needs that need, needs a buff to the reload and all of this jazz and it's um, uh, initially I was in complete agreement what's the point of playing these tanks etc etc and um, especially with this tank like the the MTV it's uh, honestly the my contribution to the, to the battles was I in my personal opinion it was minimal it was hardly anything to speak of etc etc I didn't think I was contributing that much uh, apart from when I was sitting in the bush but is it really that rewarding when you're sitting in the bush and you do manage to get you know three four five k assisted damage and um, is, is, is it really that rewarding you know you've managed to uh, provide vision for your team but uh, uh, but it, it kind of it's odd you know because like I said, people will say reload buff, you need a reload buff, you need a reload buff, and the majority of these players, you know, they just want to have a better time playing these tanks, and the majority of these players perhaps are light tank players, and they know what a light tank, you know, how a light tank should behave, etc, etc, but if you're like a heavy tank player, you must rethink, no, they're fine the way they are, and there's something to be said about that as well because I've mentioned this before how many times have I said I've mentioned this before um, you know if, if I'm in the T-50 lightweight if I'm in the RU if I'm in the T-100LT and I manage to do you know an ugly disgusting amount of damage I always say to myself I shouldn't be doing this in a light tank you know I shouldn't be is this actually a light tank? What is a light tank? Shouldn't this be a scout tank? You know, what, what, where are we going with this game? You know, is it Rocket League? Because, you know, initially when we started off, uh, the most OP uh, tank in the game in year one, I think it was the Chaffee, and that was it. And, uh, so where are we going with the game? That needs to be asked. If you know what I mean, um, are these light tanks actually what light tanks should be? Which is, um, they're just light tanks. They're not fantastic. They're not amazing. Um, their um, contribution to each and every battle is very team orientated. Um, they don't dominate, so to speak. W what's wrong with that? You know, honestly truth be told but having said that having said that perhaps the thinking here is we're getting the wheeled vehicle soon or soon who knows when but I'm guessing they're up next so if you introduce an OP British light tank line and then you introduce wheeled OP wheeled vehicles well you know then it really is rocket league you know then haven't you just ruined the game for anybody who doesn't play light tanks for heavy tank players you know for yeah so i mean yeah so yeah this, this tank is it's 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 okay it's nothing fantastic it's nothing amazing but like i said the reload is really crappy lackluster the great thing about it is um the the camo values and um, onward is up and upwards to the tier 9 I do have to say this and this is kind of important not important is it relevant I haven't got a clue my 
UN8 stats in the setup with Super Unicum, and I thought I did terribly in that tank. My WN8 in the MTV tank is Super Unicum, and I did terribly in this tank. <laughs> and I've just started to play the GSOR, the tier 9, and I have Super Unicum stats in that as well. And perhaps. I think I mentioned this before with the Awful Panther, perhaps uh, the criteria for having Super Unicum stats are a little bit too low, you know, because what, yeah, <laughs> they're absolutely awful, um, my contribution to each and every battle, in my personal opinion, in this thing, and uh, it kind of, uh, I don't know, it kind of, at the same time, some, some people might say, um, it kind of shows what WN8 means. It doesn't mean anything, you know, because I know what I did in each and every battle, and it wasn't that much. And yet, I'm classed as a super duper player in this tank. Well, you know, it is what it is. Anyhow, I'm going to leave you some gameplay of my best match. It was on, what was it called? Scorpion Ridge, and I don't need to commentate. It, it does show off the tank somewhat, a little bit, and um, onwards and upwards to the tier 9. Take it easy. Adios, muchachos.